Hey there, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can list all the files in a specific directory. For my directory I have codices file in my C where I have some files. First of all we're going to need to add the library sysdrlib. Uh, make sure to check this checkbox before you search for the library. So I'm going to implement the sysdrlib. With this library I'm going to access the the specific directory that I want. And this is possible uh, with the sysdir open. This is the first step that we need to do. So we're gonna open the uh, specified directory and return a handle to it. The, the handle, um, we need another library. This is the CMP errors for the handle. This is a specific type from codices. I'm gonna insert this library uh, as well. For the directory path, we're going to need a reference to string. The dir entry and the max dir entry are not that, in, that important in the sysdir open. The next parameter that is very important is the pointer to result. So the rtsiec result is also found in the cmp error library. So let's implement this one. Now, as you can see, this library holds the two types that I mentioned, the handle and the result. This library has also a global variable list with some errors, uh, which we're gonna use for our result. Now, I have created a simple POC program where I'm gonna invoke those functions and get all the entries in the directory. First of all, I'm going to open the directory and get a handout to it. This will uh, be done with the sysdir open. I'm going to re read all the entries in this handle and I'm going to write them to a list. The entries are going to be with the uh, CSV files. So I'm going to search for all the CSV files at the beginning and then I'm going to close the directory. In the first step, I'm just going to initialize my list which is error, um, an array of strings. And I'm just gonna initialize it with empty elements. So every time I'm gonna put the execute, I'm just gonna initialize this list. Then I'm gonna initialize the index for my elements to the minimum element. Here I'm invoking the sysdir open function, wh uh, which is returning a handle. The, the sysdir path is just a string which is initialized with my uh, path. And this is the, the handle which is from the type CMP errors RTC, RTS uh, e, IEC handle. And I have a pointer to a result. This pointer um, gonna return the result of the function if the function was successful. <laughs> So in the second step, I'm gonna check if the result from the handle, from the opening of the directory is different, um, is equal to zero. So this means uh, the global errors are okay. And I'm gonna invoke the sysdir read function, which needs um, handle from the sysdir open. So first we're gonna need to open the directory create a handle to it and pass it to the sysdir read function so we can read um, the, the objects inside. This function is returning uh, a result as well. And every, if we read something, we're gonna receive error okay. If not, you can see that there are some um, errors that we gonna receive. The sysdir entry is returning the name of the file that we have found and the max dir entry is telling us how many bytes we can write to the dir entry. To initialize the max dir entry I'm gonna use the size of operator which is returning how many bytes a variable has. The sysdir entry is a normal string from 80 bytes so I'm gonna receive 81 bytes as a return value from the size of operator. If I have a string from 20, 255 uh, bytes, I'm gonna receive uh, 256 bytes from the size of operator. So 
if the result was okay, I'm just gonna invoke the uh, csdr read function. The csdr function will return a dir entry, which I'm gonna pass to a function that I've created to extract um, the file name. So I'm passing the csdr entry, which is the result from the csdr read. I'm passing the suffix that I'm searching, so the csv, and I'm passing the um, string into in which I want to write. This, the source and the file suffix are declared as var in out, but a constant. That means this is a reference to the variable, but it's a constant reference. So I cannot change this variable from inside the function. And even if I try to uh, change the value of those variables, I'm gonna receive an error. The other two, the destination and the current index is are reference to the variables and I can change them from inside the function. So this function can modify the, the variables. So I'm going to pass the result from the CSDR open and I'm going to search for .csv, .txt or some other uh, file. If this suffix is found in my CSDR entry, so in the source, I'm gonna receive a position from the find function. And if the position is different zero, I'm gonna use the left uh, function from code sys to um, get all the elements left from the position that I'm passing. So I'm gonna show you this with a breakpoint and it's gonna be definitely clear how, how this function works. So let me just log into my POC and we're going to go step by step through the process to extract um, all the file names. I'm going to set a breakpoint to my sysdr open. When I'm executing, let me talk a bit. And as you can see, my handle is equal to zero. The result is equal to zero. And I want to open the directory C file. Now I have received a handle after executing this sysdir open function and the result is zero that means error is okay this is from the global errors errors as you can remember so everything is working fine and i have accessed the directory first of all i'm gonna this is the directory and those old files and those files gonna be written to the uh, size their entry. Here I'm initializing the size their entry and I'm invoking the read function. So as you can see, we have received something, but this is not the name of the file or something like that. So we're gonna keep invoking the sysdr read function and we have uh, received the first file name and this is another text dot text so we're gonna jump into the function we're gonna search in our source another text dot text we're gonna search for dot csv of course we're not we're not gonna find the, uh, anything so the find function from code is gonna return zero and we are not gonna invoke our code uh, further so the next file is the just text dot text file and here again we are not finding any csv so nothing will happen so now i have found other dot csv so let's jump into this function and check what's gonna happen so c dot csv is found in the source at the position six so we have found a file with the suffix that we are searching so now i'm gonna use the left function which is gonna return all the elements um behind the position that i'm entering so behind five so i'm gonna receive as a name just other nothing else so the next file is some.csv which is again holds uh, the suffix that I'm searching. That means I'm gonna enter to the list. And 
as you can see, we have reached the last, uh, the end of the directory, which is uh, error code 21. That means we are not going to search for anything else. And we're just going to end our while, going to close our directory with the sysdir close. We are passing the whole handle and stop the execute. This is happening in one cycle. Of course, you can create a switch case where you can uh, execute your functions um, in more cycles, uh, more steps, but this is your preference and you can do it as you want. You can see we have the names of the two files, other and some in our string list uh, or our array of strings. I can change the suffix, let's say, to text, and I'm gonna use again the same steps to search for all the files with the suffix text. When I execute uh, this um, program, you see I have received the three files with the suffix text in my list. Now, there is another way to uh, get all the file names. The, the first way I had a uh, reference to the string that I'm writing to, to the list and to the um, entry, to the current index of the array. We can do the same function be, but with a return. So we are not gonna write to the string directly in the function. We're gonna pass again the suffix and the source check if there is the uh, a searched file and return a string. When we return the string, we're going to assign this string to our list if it's a uh, different and empty string and count the index from outside the function. So those are two ways. Um, you can choose one of those or uh, create your own methods to extract the name. Um, I prefer the second way because a return value is better for me but both are working just fine and you can uh, use both of them to uh, search for a variable name now let's let me uh, drop my list in the watch list uh, to be easier to spot it and let's search again for the csv files and instruct the names. So again, we are opening the uh, directory, getting a handle to it, and we are invoking the read function until we receive an error, let's say end of the, the directory. I can change um, again the suffix to text. So I'm finding the three files and I can just copy the files to show you that the number of the font elements will change. So you can see I have received the list of the other elements. If you want to uh, just list all the elements in the directory, just don't search for the suffix and list all the findings that you have from the uh, sysdir read. So guys, this is how you can access a directory, find all the files in it and write it into a list. Thank you for watching and have a good one.